In the darkened realm of Eldoria, where shadows whispered and the moon seldom dared to shine, there ruled a queen both feared and revered, Alice, the Queen of Blood. Alice was not born into royalty. In fact, her origins were humble, traced back to a tiny village nestled deep within the enchanted forest that bordered Eldoria. From a young age, Alice possessed an insatiable curiosity about the world beyond her village. She would often slip away into the forest, despite the warnings of the elders who spoke of lurking dangers and ancient curses. One fateful night, under the silver glow of a full moon, Alice stumbled upon a hidden clearing where an ancient ritual was taking place. A coven of witches, cloaked in shadows and draped in silver moonlight, danced around a cauldron filled with a swirling crimson potion. Mesmerized by the scene before her, Alice's presence went unnoticed until the final incantation echoed through the air. In that moment, a bond was forged between Alice and the magic of Eldoria. She became imbued with powers beyond mortal comprehension, the ability to manipulate blood itself. It coursed through her veins like a living river, granting her strength and longevity, but at a terrible cost. For every life she took, even in self-defense, the thirst for blood grew stronger within her. With time, Alice ascended to the throne of Eldoria, overthrowing the previous ruler with a display of power that sent tremors through the very foundations of the kingdom. The people, initially wary of their new queen, soon came to both fear and depend on her. Under her rule, Eldoria flourished in its own dark way, its borders expanding as neighboring realms fell under her influence. Yet, despite her outward strength and the loyalty she commanded from her subjects, Alice remained haunted by the echo of that ancient ritual. Her nights were plagued with visions of the witches and the eldritch potion that had bound her fate to Eldoria's dark magic. As the years stretched into decades, she watched friends and allies wither and die while she remained unchanged, a testament to the cruel price of her power. In the depths of her loneliness, Alice sought solace in the company of scholars and mystics who whispered of a way to sever her ties to Eldoria's magic. They spoke of ancient artifacts hidden in forgotten tombs and whispered of rituals buried in forbidden tomes.